In mathematics, especially in homological algebra and algebraic topology, a Kunath theorem, also called a Kunath formula, is a statement relating the homology of two objects to the homology of their product. The classical statement of the Kunath theorem relates the singular homology of two topological spaces X and Y and their product space X times Y. In the simplest possible case the relationship is that of a tensor product, but for applications it is very often necessary to apply certain tools of homological algebra to express the answer. A Kunath theorem or Kunath formula is true in many different homology and cohomology theories, and the name has become generic. These many results are named for the German mathematician Hermann Kunath. Topic: <laughs> Singular homology with coefficients in a field. Let X and Y be two topological spaces. In general one uses singular homology, but if X and Y happen to be CW complexes, then this can be replaced by cellular homology, because that is isomorphic to singular homology. The simplest case is when the coefficient ring for homology is a field F. In this situation, the Kunath theorem for singular homology states that for any integer k, I plus J equals K H I X F H J Y F H K X times Y F display style big O plus underscore I plus J equals K H underscore I X F O times H underscore J Y F Kong H underscore K X times Y F furthermore the isomorphism is a natural isomorphism the map from the sum to the homology group of the product is called the cross product more precisely, there is a cross-product operation by which an I cycle on X and a J cycle on Y can be combined to create an I plus J cycle on X times Y, so that there is an explicit linear mapping defined from the direct sum to H K X times Y. A consequence of this result is that the Betty numbers, the dimensions of the homology with Q coefficients, of X times Y can be determined from those of X and Y if PZ T is the generating function of the sequence of Betty numbers BK Z of a space Z, then P X times Y T equals P X T P Y T display style P underscore X times Y T equals P underscore X T P underscore Y T here when there are finitely many Betty numbers of X and Y, each of which is a natural number rather than infinity, this reads as an identity on Poincaré polynomials. In the general case these are formal power series with possibly infinite coefficients, and have to be interpreted accordingly. Furthermore, the above statement holds not only for the Betty numbers but also for the generating functions of the dimensions of the homology over any field. If the integer homology is not torsion free, then these numbers may differ from the standard Betty numbers. Topic: <laughs> Singular homology with coefficients in a principal ideal domain. The above formula is simple because vector spaces over a field have very restricted behavior. As the coefficient ring becomes more general, the relationship becomes more complicated. The next simplest case is the case when the coefficient ring is a principal ideal domain. This case is particularly important because the integers z are a p-id. 
In this case the equation above is no longer always true. A correction factor appears to account for the possibility of torsion phenomena. This correction factor is expressed in terms of the tor functor, the first derived functor of the tensor product. When R is a PID, then the correct statement of the Kunath theorem is that for any topological spaces X and Y there are natural short exact sequences 0 I plus J equals K H I X R R H J Y R H K X times Y R I plus J equals K minus one T O R one R H I X R H J Y R zero Display style zero to big O plus underscore I plus J equals K H underscore I X R O times underscore R H underscore J Y R to H underscore K X times Y R to big O plus underscore I plus J equals K one Mathem Tor underscore one carrot R H underscore I X R H underscore J Y R to zero Furthermore, these sequences split, but not canonically. Topic. Example The short exact sequences just described can easily be used to compute the homology groups with integer coefficients of the product P2 R times P2 R of two real projective planes, in other words HK P2 R times P2 R Z. These spaces are CW complexes. Denoting the homology group high P2 R Z by high for brevity's sake, one knows from a simple calculation with cellular homology that H0 Z H1 Z 2 Z high equals zero for all other values of I, the only non-zero tor group, torsion product, which can be formed from these values of high as T O R one Z H one H one T O R one Z Z two Z two Z Two Display style mathem tor underscore one carrot math BF Z H underscore one H underscore one Kong mathem tor underscore one carrot math BF Z math BF Z two math BF Z two Kong math BF Z two Therefore, the Kunith short exact sequence reduces in every degree to an isomorphism, because there is a zero group in each case on either the left or the right side in the sequence. The result is H 0 P 2 R times P 2 R Z H zero H zero Z H one P two R times P 
P two R Z H zero H one H one H zero Z two Z two H two P two R times P two R Z H one H one Z two H three P two R times P two R Z T O R one Z H one H one Z two display style begin aligned H underscore zero left Math BF P carrot two Math BF R times Math BF P carrot two Math BF R Math BF Z right and Kong H underscore zero O times H underscore zero Kong Math BF Z H underscore one left Math BF P carrot two Two Math BF R times Math BF P carrot two Math BF R Math BF Z right and Kong H underscore zero O times H underscore one O plus H underscore one O times H underscore zero Kong Math BF Z two O plus Math BF Z two H underscore two left Math BF P carrot two Math BF R Times Math BF P carrot two Math BF R Math BF Z right and Kong H underscore one O times H underscore one Kong Math BF Z two H underscore three left Math BF P carrot two Math BF R times Math BF P carrot two Math BF R Math BF Z right and Kong Mathem Tor underscore one carrot math BF Z H underscore one H underscore one Kong math BF Z two end aligned and all the other homology groups are zero topic the Kunith spectral sequence For a general commutative ring R, the homology of X and Y is related to the homology of their product by a Kunith spectral sequence E P Q two equals Q one plus Q two equals Q T O R P R H Q one X R H Q two Y R H P plus Q X times Y R Display style E underscore PQ carrot two equals big O plus underscore Q underscore one plus Q underscore two equals Q Mathem Tor underscore P carrot R H underscore Q underscore one X R H underscore Q underscore two Y R right arrow H underscore P plus Q X times Y R in the cases described above, this spectral sequence collapses to give an isomorphism or a short exact sequence. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Relation with homological algebra and idea of proof. The chain complex of the space X times Y is related to the chain complexes of X and Y by a natural quasi-isomorphism. C X times Y C X C Y Display style c underscore asterisk x times y kong c underscore asterisk x o times c underscore asterisk y. For singular chains, this is the theorem of Eilenberg and Zilber. For cellular chains on CW complexes, it is a straightforward isomorphism. Then the homology of the tensor product on the right is given by the spectral Kunath formula of homological algebra. The freeness of the chain modules means that in this geometric case it is not necessary to use any hyperhomology or total derived tensor product. There are analogues of the above statements for singular cohomology and sheaf cohomology. For sheaf cohomology on an algebraic variety, Alexander Grothendieck found six spectral sequences relating the possible hyperhomology groups of two chain complexes of sheaves and the hyperhomology groups of their tensor product. Topic: <laughs> Kunath theorems in generalized homology and cohomology theories. There are many generalized or extraordinary homology and cohomology theories for topological spaces. K-theory and cobordism are the best known. Unlike ordinary homology and cohomology, they typically cannot be defined using chain complexes. Thus Kunath theorems cannot be obtained by the above methods of homological algebra. Nevertheless, Kunath theorems in just the same form have been proved in very many cases by various other methods. The first were Michael Attia's Kunath theorem for complex K-theory and Pierre Connor and Edwin E. Floyd's result in cobordism. A general method of proof emerged, based upon a homotopical theory of modules over highly structured ring spectra. The homotopy category of such modules closely resembles the derived category in homological algebra, 